अब बात करते हैं भारत की बेटी स्वाति मोहन की जिन्होंने मंगल पर नासा के रोवर को उतारने में एक बहुत अहम भूमिका निभाई हम आपको बता दें मार्स मिशन में भारतीय मूल की स्वाति मोहन ने इतिहास रचा पूरे मिशन में भारतीय मूल की स्वाति मोहन का अहम योगदान रहा टीवी नाइन भारतवर्ष पर स्वाति मोहन एक्सक्लूसिव आई हमसे बातचीत करी टीवी नाइन भारतवर्ष से बातचीत में स्वाति ने कहा कि लैंडिंग वाली रात वो सो नहीं पाई थी फिलहाल पूरी दुनिया में भारत की इस बेटी स्वाति मोहन की तारीफ हो रही है स्वाति ने लैंडिंग तकनीक को डिजाइन और विकसित किया है और हम आपको बता दें मास्क लगाने के बावजूद उनके लुक और उनकी बिंदी को लेकर लोगों ने उन्हें पहचाना नासा में भारतीय मूल के वैज्ञानिक स्वाति मोहन से वॉशिंगटन डीसी में मौजूद टीवी नाइन भारतवर्ष के संवाददाता रोहित शर्मा ने एक्सक्लूसिव बातचीत की वो बातचीत हम आपको दिखाते हैं What was going through your mind? You know, because you're also commentating it, or you're the one who was basically saying, you know, it's it's reached this part or this this zone, I guess, and now now it's it's landing. What was going through your mind then? I was so focused on what I needed to do that、uh, it didn't really sink in what had happened until after I had made the touchdown call and I heard the cheers.、Uh, a few, it was a few seconds or a few minutes where I was still sitting in my seat, and then I was like, wait. We actually landed, and that's when I, I had enough wherewithal to to stand up and start celebrating with everybody. So, and we obviously saw that that live. And then the other question that I went through, you know, a lot of people's mind was, you know, I mean, was there an element of, you know, what if this fails? Like, were you prepared to, you know, you know, for that eventuality also? Absolutely. We spend so much of our time doing everything we can to make sure perseverance. Would land successfully, and a lot of that is planning for scenarios when things don't go as smoothly as we want. Sleep at all last night? I mean, was there celebration? We did have a little celebration. I tried to go to sleep early,、um, but I ended up getting up at around four thirty this morning because my body's been trained for being on first shift time for the past. Uh, about two weeks, so I just naturally got up at the same time as it's been reporting for duty for the past two weeks. So, hopefully, I will be able to relax a little bit more in the coming days. How much of your upbringing has helped you in in this role, especially in critical mission like this? Has that had any role to play in you know what you've become now? I did. I lived、uh, originally in Pennsylvania, and then spent most of my、uh, K through twelve schooling outside Washington D.C. We had.、Uh, Even though we emigrated to the U.S. when I was、um, very little, my parents and my family still hold to a lot of the the core values that come from our heritage and what they were raised with. And one of those key values is education. And because of that, they were always super supportive of、uh, anything that I wanted to do or learn or. Try to achieve, and a, a large portion is having their support and their willingness、um, in, you know, letting me do internships while I was still in high school, or, or having the means to to send me to、uh, whatever school I got admission into without having to、uh, to worry about the financials. You know, the little things that they encouraged and supported, and were always there to say yes. You can do it. You know, if you want to, you just have to try hard enough, and you can. And that was a a large part of, you know, helping me to keep moving to the next step and to the next goal. And、um, what would you tell to all those young people out there right now, you know, watching this interview? I would say to persevere and to follow your passion. You know, it, it's not any one accomplishment or one、uh, experience that. Makes or breaks you, whether it's a success or a failure or a setback. You know what you learn from it is the most important, and how you take that experience to keep moving, to keep taking that next step forward, so that you can eventually get to where you want to go. How's the reaction back home? I understand you have an extended family in India. I mean, you want to say anything in your, if you can speak the local language there, you know. The reaction has been overwhelming. I mean, I had、uh, put you know my phones down on the floor during the the landing itself because I wanted to make sure I was fully focused. And by the time I got around to seeing them, there were just hundreds of well wishes and thank yous and and congratulations. 
pouring in from all over, you know, it, it's just been so overwhelming to, uh, to feel that much, uh, you know, support and, and congratulations from people all over the world. You will stop now. Rose Subhay Saad Baji or Sham Saad Baji. Surf TV9 Bharat Varshwar.